how to disassemble and reassemble the Maglite ML300LX. Need uh, hemostats or needle nose pliers, a T8 Torx wrench, a piece of plastic tubing like PVC, and a hammer. Start by removing the bezel. Reflector comes out and then the head will just slide down like that. This focus collar spins off. Um, next, take out your batteries. Those are nickel metal hydride rechargeables. Uh, now, here's where people, the first place people start to get stuck is the switch. You gotta take that boot out, pliers, hemos, just pulls off, and then that button falls out. Uh, to get in there, we need a T8 Torx wrench. Um, a lot of times the shaft on these will not be narrow enough, so you have to file or grind or sand them down, but just stick your Torx right straight into that hole and you'll feel it kind of lock and then Crack that loose, just give it a spin. You don't have to get crazy. The switch is not just gonna fall out the bottom. There, there's a trick to this. There's a trick to getting it out and back in. And what you wanna do is with your wrench inserted in there, you wanna kinda lift up on it and angle it like that. And I'll show you why in a second. Once that's done, the switch will then drop out the bottom. The reason is this switch is two pieces, and what we were doing is causing the two pieces to shift. Uh, next, if, if you want to get the heat sink out, we're going to take our piece of PVC and stick it over the top of that switch tower. Just hit that PVC wants good to knock it out of the bottom. Drops right out the bottom. Taking the switch apart, pretty simple. These two pieces just separate very carefully so we don't lose any components. There's your switch button, your driver. There she is. To reinstall the heat sink, just drop it back in there. It'll slide down. It won't be all the way in though. As I just take the negative into the, the battery, I put the battery in backwards and use it as a hammer, depending on how much you care about your batteries. And that got it tapped all the way up in there with just a few bumps. Since this is two pieces, if you put these pieces together, they'll hold, but then the switch is too fat to slide back up in there, so you need to put, just scoot this up, and then slide it back up in there. And same thing, I take the negative into the battery, put it in there backwards, and just give that a couple of taps to align the parts. Tighten the Torx. This piece so, threads right back on. Sometimes you might have a little trouble getting it aligned, but it'll, it'll go real smooth once you get it right. Switch button, switch boot, batteries, power.